Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. I have an 8 by 10 inch canvas and some stuff sliding out of the way. Yes, I'm doing my hair today. I also have an OXO omelet turning spatula available on the Amazon link underneath the video. First blue link under show more. And I'm going to grab a color that I love and I'm going to try and put a sky into my picture and I'm going to try to do oh boy I cleaned all these out earlier there we go I'm going to tip this where's my yellow that's not the yellow I want and I want that magenta <laughs> what's it feel like to want there we go. What other color do I want in there? Anything? I kind of do. Maybe that pink. So I'm just going to move my bottles out of the way, grab my edge catcher. There's my little container. I'm going to put some bottom colors in. I'm trying to make a scape so that I can add some trees at some point in time, and I guess I'll know it when I see it. doesn't matter if I don't get that to go. I need that to go up so I can go over again. Once I get up I can rock it and roll it and rock it again. Scrape it up, squeeze it on, let it flow over. It doesn't have to be uniform. Oh, won't hurt my feelings if it is. I'm going to rock it again, squeeze it down, let it go back. I had some lids. There we go. They're right there. That's so cool. I love it when a plan comes together. These are yogurt lids from Fahi Yogurt. I am going to grab my spatula and remove the paint color from my edge catcher because I don't need to waste it. I did it again. I was trying to do the top third and I didn't do it. That's okay. I am going to, what am I going to do? I kind of want something dark across the bottom there. I'm going to touch that edge. Tip that up in over. Try and keep my spatula where I can find it. I don't mind changing that up. It's not hurting my feelings any. All right, so now I have a hilly side and I'm going to use this, hopefully. Well, I've got some paint receding from the canvas, but fortunately, edge catcher paint will cure that. Especially if I wait a little bit more on the edges. All right, so that's all cool. What do I want? I want the minty green from Color Shift. That's a Color Shift from Folk Art, and the turquoise from Folk Art. Maybe not the turquoise. I don't think so. Um, Prussian blue, and some of the other blue. No, I don't want that. I'm going to do. Am I going to do that? I'm going to do some of this weird color that I made up recently, which is very similar to the minty green, actually. And I'm going to grab that turquoise. No, I'm not. I thought it was. I'm going to use that dark purple. And I'm going to be very careful right now because I think I've just realized how very, very small that canvas is. And I suppose if I have enough time, I could do the other one that I've got standing by. I want some copper in there. I'm going to have more colors than I know what to do with again. But that's okay because I have a weird plan. And I'm just going to make the colors up. It's a Because I Can moment, the name of my first book. Hey, I have another book there. The second one is the second hundred videos on YouTube, and it is uh, called Unlimited Possibilities. And fluid art is basically that, Unlimited Possibilities. And I had such fun recently doing 
multi-directional pours that I'm inclined to do again, even if it's tiny, which would be really cool. It's a great way to, for anybody to start on a smaller canvas. Ah, that was a bad noise. I don't want to do that again. So I'm going to ribbon pour some paint and save the rest. Just going to wipe that off. I'm going to let it go up. I'm going to let it go down and over. I'm going to keep an eye on the top. I'll probably put a little more over here. I'm going to bring that edge catcher back because I think I'm going to be using it before long. I'm also going to just blow this right up into that horizon edge. I'm going to let that paint flow down over there. Rock my edge. I'm going to let it flow right back again, too. Probably going to take it off. I want that to go continue going that way, so I'm really inclined to just prop that up. What have I got here? I've got a weird little canvas with the paint receding. That happens with these sometimes. Alright, better than a Princeton Artel cattle spatula for removing the paint from anything is this OXO omelet turning spatula. They are the bomb. There's no doubt about it in my mind. There are a couple of people in the world that don't agree with me. Uh, one visited me recently, but I think I showed her that it's a really great tool to have. Where's my paint? I am going to go from the other side, I think. I want some more dark purple in there. I really like the dark purple edge. So, here goes nothing. And I'm going to put that spatula where I, where I can find it. I like creating alternative patterns and when you use the squeeze bottles to, to put the paint into the reservoir cup, you get all kinds of cool patterns popping right out. I don't want to pick up that sky color. And if I have to drip some of it off, I will. Send that down that way and over that way. And I'm trepidatiously holding on to this and it doesn't matter if I have little gaps because I can fill them. I know that. I am using a thumbnail on the top. I don't know how far I can get that to come back up again. I was kind of expecting that might be an issue, but uh, I've got enough paint on my edge catcher so that if I want to fix anything, I can. And I'm loving all that. It's pretty sim simple. I don't want to make that noise anymore. <laughs> I've got paint left if I needed it. I've got paint on my edge catcher to use. Just going to clean off that spatula right on the edge of the canvas. And maybe, maybe I'll use the rest of my paint in another piece if I can be quick enough. I've got eight minutes left, so I could do that. If I had a nice place to rest that, I'm just going to use my finger to try and cover those little gaps that are coming up from the canvas being cheap. I'll get them sooner or later. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of surreal, but I love it. I'm going to grab the rest of this paint because I see I don't have as much coverage on my bottom as I want, and that's probably because of the canvas having those, having that inclination to, uh, to leach its color away. So I'm going to take this. Actually, I need to torch that. Where is it? There it is. So I can't remember if I put any enamel in there or not. I don't think so. I know I put some in the top. I think I want my next one to be lighter. I'm using my tweezers. I have these the tweezers, the sharp nose ones I have on the uh, on the Amazon link, along with all kinds of other great stuff. Definitely worth checking out there. I also have Facebook groups. If you guys are looking for uh, 
to see what I've edited so far from the Wet and Dry Artworks from YouTube, check out Expressionist Art Studio Fans and Collectors. You might have to join, but that's not any big deal. Um, student group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I post my video there the night before, too. If you guys want to help me out, you might want to know about the contest. Excuse me, not a contest. The, uh, the drawing I do once a month for some of my paintings to those who contribute $10 to my help keep my studio, keep me in art supplies, basically. All right, so I've got to drag something over here. I'll be right back. got a nice little wire rack that I love to use and I'm going to try and make a sky that's much lighter at this time. We'll see what happens and we'll just slip this right out and hope I don't lose too much paint. Maybe I'll be level and maybe I won't. You know what? I'm not going to take a chance. This is going inside. I know it will be level. Ooh, things are falling over. Microburst. Alrighty, so we're back. And I'm going to try and do what I haven't been able to do so far. And give myself the sky I'm looking for. That's Anita's... That was. That's Anita's metallic. I call it pearl. If I was going to use the edge catcher, I would need a new one. And I'm thinking I've got something small over here that I can use instead. So why don't I just use... You don't need a huge edge catcher, especially with the 8x10 canvases. So I just rock that. I love that color shifting purple. Actually, it's a blue. I can see that I've, I've got something in my paint. Fortunately, those tweezers will figure that out in a second. I'm going to give myself a little more of that purple because I like it. Right up there. And right down there. You might get a twofer out of me. I'll let all of that go up. I'm not going to worry about the weird pattern I'm seeing. I'm going to rock it. Send it all down again. Scrape it right off. Press it right on. And blow it around. Let's pretend it's a bloom. Alright, so that spatula has some other colors on it and I don't like to waste things. So I'm going to scrape that right off in my land mass and wipe it off on my studio rag, which is nice and damp and heavy heavy cotton, smooth side. The rough side doesn't work as well because you want what's on your spatula to be smooth too. I'm going to grab this edge catcher paint. And use it. Because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon. Like I think I mentioned that a couple times. Feels like I'm doing a whole new video, but um, I think what I want to do is keep playing. So I'm going to use this. I like to use the Anita's Metallic a lot like water. I tip it the wrong way, and then tip it the right way. I'm going to throw my finger in it for a second. I've got to stop doing that. I'm going to turn that over because I'm pretty sure the other side is not going to make that noise. It's just not as clean. I'm going to use a straw. To soften up that edge. And I'm kind of thinking that I might like a little bit of white to experiment in that color shifting blue. It's, it's got a green tinge to it. All right, so here goes nothing sort of thing. I want my bottom to have a lot of this dark green and a lot of 
the green gold color shift and I'm still interested in my folk art neon purple multi-surface but it's not squeezing out now it is wow um, maybe a touch of the Prussian blue you know what I want to chip that The slow tip. All right, that's enough of that for right now. I'm not going to worry about that at the bottom. I kind of like that mark actually that I left with my finger. I am going to try one last dark color. What is it going to be? Is it going to be the black or the, I don't know, I say that and then I use gold. Um, I want black or Prussian blue. I think it's going to be the Prussian blue. So I'm just going to give myself an opportunity right after this other opportunity. <laughs> They are my favorite oil slick colors, as per usual. I've got two minutes left to do whatever I'm going to do, and I'm going to throw some black in there because I want to. And maybe, whoops, that was way too much. Um, <laughs> and maybe, where's my purple? My lighter purple, there we go. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to do this up here and tell you guys I do sell my artwork. So if you're interested, look for that email address right below Show More underneath the video. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. I love you guys. There's almost 86,000 of you. There may actually be by now. Hard to tell. Um, if you're interested in helping the studio out and entering a chance to win a drawing, there's 15 paintings and you could win three of them if you're the drawing winner. You can find the exhibition video uh, on the end screens. Yes, I'm losing my... <laughs> I'm losing it. This isn't going to be one I add, add trees to either. And I probably have more paint than I'll know what to do with, but I would like to finish this before you guys are gone. And uh, as long as I can do that before the timer goes off, I should be fine. So I'm liking these separate areas. That's my, that's my new thing. I'm loving covering the bottom and then squeezing the paint back up, which is my normal thing. And then scraping it up. And I can fill in anything I want after, or I could take it now, right off that edge catcher. Like so. And maybe the rest should come off that other edge catcher. Just about dumped my paint over. Um, what do I want to do with that? Not much. That's pretty cool. I'm almost to the place where I want to not do anything to it. So I love you guys. There's uh, almost 86,000 of you. I probably said that. There's a drawing. I said that. Uh, if you want to help me out, watch the videos longer because it's the only thing the YouTube algorithm understands. I'm going to use the rest of my paint by removing it with my Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula, which you can find five of if you open one under Show More on the Amazon link, along with lots of other cool stuff. For sure, for sure. Teespring clothing under the video. If you guys shop on Amazon, it's no added cost to you and it helps me out. I really appreciate that. I have a desire to tip that one more time. I keep leaving things in my way though. I'm too excited. <laughs> totally. 
So I'm going to try this edge catcher one more time. I'm going to lower it down right to uh, right to where I need it only, so 